Let's talk about how to export video out of Photoshop. So the first thing that you want to do is you want to check your work area and that's these handles right here. This, this determines the in point and the out point for your video. In this case I started my animation after the first frame and I ended the animation before the last frame. So I have this custom work area set up. Now you want to make sure that you do the same so to export the video we go to file export render video and in render video we have first the location so you need to choose the folder where you are going to send this file to and it'll show you the path right here and of course if you need to create a subfolder you can check this box subfolders are usually for rendering out image sequences so in this case I'm not going to render out an image sequence so I don't need to create a subfolder so under media encoder you choose the format first and for this we're gonna keep it on h264 and if it's high quality it will automatically read the same frame rate as your sequence however if you change it to one of these other presets most likely it's going to change your frame rate. So if I were to choose this YouTube setting, as you can see, it automatically changed the frame rate to match the preset frame rate. So if you choose one of these other presets, you just want to make sure that you update the frame rate. So in my sequence, I'm using 12 frames per second. So in here, I would update that 12 frames per second. If you leave it on high quality, it will match the document size and it will match the frame rate. So I recommend just leaving it at high quality. Typically the H.264 encoder is not going to be a really big file. And then the next thing for the range, you could choose all frames and render the entire sequence or what I'm going to do here, I'm going to choose work area so it renders out the work area that I had set up in here with this in point and out point. For the render options, if you're using H.264 you cannot render out an alpha channel so you don't need to worry about this. Once these settings look good, then you hit render and it's going to write this to the folder that you've set up. So I'll hit render. Now let's say that we wanted to do compositing in After Effects or another program, so we actually want to render this out without the video footage behind it. So if you want to render just the effects layers, we'll go to export and render video just like we did before. But on this, instead of H.264, we'll choose QuickTime and then once you are using QuickTime then you can actually have it include an alpha channel and if you are ever exporting graphics I recommend using straight unmatted and not pre-multiplying uh, the pre-multiplication is usually something that you would want to do inside of your compositing software so if you're rendering graphics to be composited uh, make sure that you select straight unmatted and then you can choose whether it's animation or uncompressed. This is a pretty short sequence, so I think either of these will do fine. And I'll name this graphics. And then it's going to render this out without the background, but with an alpha channel. So again, you only choose QuickTime if you need an alpha channel. If you're rendering your final, you could just stick with H.264. So this is how you export video files out of Photoshop.